In this video, I'll show you how to make this slam transition in DaVinci Resolve. First of all, copy the clip you want to end the transition. Press on Clip and then Freeze Frame. Open the Freeze Frame in Color Page. Take your pen tool and mask out the object you want to use. In my case, it's the logo. Head on to the Node section and add Alpha Output. Make the mask smoother by adding softness. Drag the clip to where you want the transition to start and cut it so it ends when the actual clip begins. Make a new compound clip. Open it in the Fusion page. Add Transform. Go to the last frame and make a keyframe for size. Move to the first frame and turn the size all the way down. Click on Spline. Select size and make a graph similar to mine. After that, go to Settings. Turn on Motion Blur and copy my settings. Nice! Let's animate the next clip so it comes from the right. Copy the last clip. Freeze the first frame. Open the Freeze frame in Color Page. Make a mask around the object. Now I'll mask out the whole car. Time to add Alpha Output. Make the mask softer. Go back to the Editing page. Drag the clip to the right size. Make a new compound clip. Go into Fusion page. Find Transform. On the last frame, make a keyframe for center. Move all the way to the beginning and move the car out of frame. Click on Spline. Make a graph similar to mine. Last but not least, turn on Motion Blur. The transition is almost ready. All we need to do is to add the little shake to it. Drag an adjustment layer onto the timeline. Cut it to correct size, which is about the same as the transition clip. In Fusion page, find Camera Shake. Add a keyframe in the beginning for overall strength. Move till the end and turn it to zero. If you want, you can add motion blur for the shake also. Find directional blur. Add a keyframe for length and glow. Turn them all the way down in the end. Final step of this effect is to change edges to mirror. Copy the adjustment clip for the next transition. That's basically it. 